Digital human technology has undergone numerous advancements over the past few years, but Cleon has developed a technology that creates the most optimal digital human mankind needs. Digital humans have emerged as a key element for innovation in communication. They solve the current existing spatial, temporal, and linguistic problems that every people face. Cleon provides a digital human technology that anyone can easily create and use in everyday life. For it requires the least amount of data, generates in real time, and costs reasonably without burden. Cleon is already innovating communication in various fields. Hello, I'm a digital human of Cleon CEO, Seung Gyuk Jin. People around me say that I am more handsome and attractive than the real CEO Jin. In that sense, I will be the one who will proceed with today's presentation. And CEO Jin will only answer the questions you may ask. So, let's get started right away. Kalian dreams to create a world where everyone can easily and quickly communicate with anyone at any time and any place. To achieve this vision, Kalian has developed a technology that can create a digital human in real time using only one face photo, one body photo, and 30 seconds of voice data. Kalian is using these models to develop numerous features related to creating one's own digital human, such as generating virtual faces, expressions, and motions, converting head, age, and voice, and generating speech and lip motion. All of these features were created based on the goal of using little data, generating in real time, and providing them at a reasonable cost. Oops, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm a digital human of Mark Zuckerberg, created by Kolian, who can speak fluently in five languages. Hello. 안녕하세요. Konnichiwa. 니하오. Hola. Knock knock. Anybody here? Oh, my apologies. Hello there. I'm a digital human of Benedict Cumberbatch created by Cullion, and I can change my age according to my preference. See, what do you think about this change? Hello. I'm Kalian's digital human of Jin from BTS, who could not only sing, but also become an announcer, hotelier, or a customer assistant of your company. Unlike the traditional method, where an expert's craftsmanship is pivotal in creating a digital human, Kalian's technology has built a standardized and customized process where anyone can use his or her own data to create any kinds of digital humans. Kalian has currently launched two services with this core technology. First is Clone, a SaaS where anyone can easily create digital human videos. Second is Culling, a multi-language automatic dubbing SaaS. Clone allows you to create your own digital human with only one photo and 30 seconds of voice. Clone was developed to deliver higher quality information at a lower cost and lesser time by innovatively solving the problem of delivering information in various industries. There are two major target markets for Clone. First is a market that could replace the role of a communicator by using virtual humans. And second is a market that utilizes digital twins of anyone's own face and voice. The first target market are job groups that play the role of a communicator. This communicator exists to deliver existing information and they include news announcers, hoteliers, and in-house training employees. Through Clone, it is possible to overcome the physical and linguistic limitations of existing communicators and provide higher quality standardized services to customers. The second target market is the digital human market that utilizes the face and voice of real people. Here is one example. Existing security analysts have largely done two or more things at the same time. One is acquiring clients and another is analyzing security while informing clients about the data. By creating a digital human of the analyst through clone, the analyst could focus mainly on analyzing and could use his or her digital human to share the information to clients. Most professional job groups are experiencing similar problems like this example. Tax accountants, lawyers, professors, doctors, politicians, and so many more are very keen and currently using clone. Moreover, 
Celebrity IPs also allow companies to deliver more diverse messages to their customers without having to film the celebrity's face and voice. Culling is a multilingual dubbing solution currently available in Korean, Chinese, Japanese, English, and Spanish. Although I'm speaking in English right now, I could also speak in Hangugo. Chongwen, Espanol, Nihongo. Content producers, such as movie producers, can save time and money. And users can enjoy realistic videos that match the actor's voice in their native language. Culling is looking beyond the movie dubbing market. The dubbing market has been formed mainly in the film industry, but it is not getting any bigger. This is because it is difficult for content creators to afford the time and cost of dubbing. With Culling's automatic dubbing solution, the dubbing industry can expand to various fields other than film, such as education, one-person media, and OTT platforms. Let me briefly share how customers of the two services are actually using them. This is today's recommended dinner course for you. You can also order other courses on my right. Hello everyone. I am the ambassador of this hotel. Welcome and enjoy your stay. 안녕하세요, 고객님. AI concierge assistant, Clone입니다. 어떻게 도와드릴까요? The police have arrested a 31-year-old woman for suspected involvement in the murder of her father at Block 190A Riverville Drive in Sungkang. Adobe Analytics에 대해 소개해드리겠습니다. Adobe Analytics는 디지털 채널에서 사용자 로그를 분석하기 위해 활용되는 솔루션입니다. I studied and wrote for doctorate. Then I started teaching at Oxford University, and I became a mother of two. As I watched them learn their language, I thought, "Oh, that's what I wanted to do." 이승영 고객님 안녕하세요. 함께하기에 행복한 추석. 건강한 모습으로 함께 있다는 것만으로도. 한없이 고마운 추석입니다. 겨울엔 차 타기 전에 이렇게 두드려 줘야 하거든. 주위의 길짐승들이 엔진 쪽으로 들어가 있는 경우들이 있으니까. In winter, you need to knock your car before you get in. Sometimes, wild animals get in the engine to avoid the cold. 在冬天,你需要敲你的车才能上车。有时野生动物会进入发动机以避免寒冷. Let me briefly explain the business model of clone and culling. Clone's virtual human service charges $3,000 per month for each branch of a company. If virtual humans are needed by 30 branches or departments, recurring revenue of $90,000 per month is generated. Clone's digital twin service, which uses one's face and voice, requires an initial setup fee of $3,000 for creation and a monthly fee of $500 for usage. Securities companies normally use this service in units of 100 people, and this generates a recurring revenue of more than $50,000 per month. Culling charges $10 per minute for the fully automated service. For 40 hours of educational video dubbing, Culling generates around $24,000 in revenue. As such, all of these services are operated without internal post-processing. So, I could assure that if Kalyan starts marketing, monetization will happen very quickly and easily. Kalyan ultimately aims to build a platform where anyone can easily and quickly communicate with anyone they want. If Google 10 years ago and YouTube currently were used to collect information, I believe that 10 years from now, Kalyan will lead a platform where digital humans will be collecting and providing all the information for humankind. Through this POC with Meta, I hope that Kalyan will share its vision with the amazing members of Meta and carry out various collaborations together. For this POC, we set out to build a website where you could directly use some of our technologies that allows anyone to create digital humans quickly and easily. I hope that you can create your own digital human with one photo and 30 seconds of voice. Integrate the digital human with a chat bot or make a video and use it for various purposes. We currently consist of about 70 members and more than 55 are product developers and researchers. More than 20 of them are members who have obtained AI-related masters and doctoral degrees from Korea's most renowned university, Case. Well, that's it for this presentation. Let me conclude Kalyan's introduction. And I would appreciate it if you could ask CEO Jin for any questions. Thank you.